Hey, what's going on guys? This is Eric with Olympic Health Physics and today we're going to be talking about KVP and mass. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about kilovolts, KV, or mass, MAS. These are the two primary controls that we have with an X-ray tube with controlling the amount of radiation and the quality of the radiation beam or the X-ray beam for our patients. Sometimes these two terms uh, can be confused with each other. And so what we're gonna break down in this video is what the difference is between KV and mass and how each can be used. The first thing I wanna do is start by showing you what an X-ray tube looks like. So the components that we're gonna be talking about with our X-ray tube, in particular with KV and mass, is going to be our filament, which we see here, the anode, which rotates around an axle or spindle here, and the evacuated chamber, which is where X-ray production will take place. Before we get too far into the operation of the x-ray tube itself, I want to talk a little bit about charges. So we, if we have two positive charges, they will repel from each other. If we have two negative charges, they will also repel from each other, as we see here. And if we have two opposite charges, they're going to be attracted towards each other. Okay, so this is basic electrostatics. If we then apply that to uh, anode and cathode in an x-ray tube, if we have a cathode which is held at a negative charge and we have an anode which is held at a positive charge and we put an electron in between the two, that electron is going to be attracted to or pulled towards the anode by the anode because an electron carries a negative charge. So that electron is gonna be pulled towards the anode and at the same time it's being pulled towards the anode by the positive uh, charges on the anode it's gonna be pushed by the cathode because the negative charges on the cathode are going to repel or push the electron towards the anode. So in our X-ray tube, if we have our filament, the uh, heated filament, this heated filament is going to boil off electrons. So when the electrons are going to be created, if the filament is held at a negative charge and our anode over on this side is held at a positive charge, the electrons will flow from the cathode towards the anode, and once they strike the anode, they will create x-rays. We're not really gonna go into the formation of, of x-rays, how x-rays are formed, uh, except to say that the interaction of the electrons with the anode will create two kinds of x-rays. There will be Bremsterlung x-rays and characteristic x-rays. Again, we're not gonna go into the details on that, but that's how x-rays are formed, is by the interaction of the electron with the anode. So within our x-ray tube, the whole x-ray tube here, we can apply a potential difference, this is a voltage difference, between the cathode, or the filament, and the anode. And so the higher that we create a potential difference here, the bigger the voltage difference is, or the stronger positive charge that we have on the anode and the stronger negative charge that we have on the cathode, the electrons will traverse this gap at a much higher rate. So the velocity that the electrons accelerate across the gap of the chamber will be higher and higher as we increase the voltage of the tube. So that's this voltage right here that we see. So if we have higher and higher energy electrons hitting the anode, the resultant x-rays will also be higher energy x-rays. With higher energy x-rays, we end up with more penetrating power or the ability for the x-rays to penetrate thicker and more dense body parts. So this voltage difference between the cathode and the anode, that's our KVP. As we increase the KV, or the voltage difference, we increase the speed at which the electrons traverse the chamber. They impact the anode at a higher and higher uh, energy and creates higher and higher energy x-rays. If we decrease the voltage, then we will see a decrease in the energy 
of x-rays and the x-rays become less penetrating. Now let's talk a little bit about mass. Mass is milliamps seconds or MA times time or multiplied by time and that's going to be directly proportional to the number of electrons that come off of the filament and are accelerated across the gap. So what exactly does that look like? Well, if we have our x-ray tube and we have our cathode over on this side, our electrons are moving across towards our anode, we will produce a certain number of x-rays with a certain number of electrons. If we increase the mass, the MAS, then we increase the number of electrons, not how penetrating or how energetic we are, remember that's KV, but we'll increase the actual number of electrons and that's gonna increase the number of x-rays. So mass is a control that's directly proportional to radiation dose. If we double the mass, then we're gonna double the radiation dose to the patient. So what exactly is mass? Well, like I said, mass is milliampere times seconds or times time, we can sort of get rid of the, the M part and what we're left with is just amps and seconds, okay? So what is an amp? Well, an amp, that's just a coulomb per second, okay? That's what an amp is, is a coulomb per second. And what's a coulomb? Well, a coulomb is a unit of charge and we know that electrons carry charge. So if we have our amps times seconds, that's really just coulombs per second times seconds. The seconds cancel out and we're left with just coulombs. And we know because coulombs is a unit of charge and electrons carry charge that that's gonna be proportional to the number of electrons, which is gonna be proportional to the number of x-rays. So this is how we go from uh, mass, milliamp seconds, to the number of x-rays. So coming back to our x-ray tube, we have our heated filament. This is where the electrons come off and are accelerated towards the anode over this gap. That anode is gonna be held at a positive charge and the voltage difference between the negative cathode and the positively charged anode, the higher that voltage difference is between these two, the faster the electrons will move from the cathode towards the anode and the higher energy the x-rays will be that we produce. And if we increase the mass, we're going to be increasing the number of electrons that come off of the cathode and are accelerated towards the anode, increasing the number of x-rays that are generated. So that's KV and that's mass. KV will control the penetrating power of your x-ray beam or how energetic your x-rays are and mass will control the number of x-rays. If we increase the KV or we increase the mass, we're gonna see an increase in radiation dose. With increases in mass, we'll see a better image quality in general. We'll see better image quality because we'll have less noise in our image. However, we want to weigh or balance the amount of mass or radiation dose that we give against the result in image quality, how much image quality do we need. So we don't wanna just use as much mass as possible, we wanna be judicious with it because it does contribute to radiation dose of the patient. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the differences between KV and mass. If you have any questions for us, feel free to drop, drop them in the comments below and let us know how we can help.